Continuing our reflection on our memorable hunts with the Garmin Zero bow sight, we find ourselves in Kentucky hunting velvet whitetail. You know, several years ago, I went on my first Kentucky hunt with Salt River Outfitters and really, really enjoyed it, loved everything about it, and look forward to it now. Uh, it's an early September hunt. The deer are mostly still in velvet at that time or just coming into hard antler. Uh, it gives me another reason to shoot a lot in the summertime. I shoot more now in July uh, than I ever do, and I shoot July and August getting ready for these September hunts, and in this case, we spent some time kind of helping Steve get prepared for his first hunt ever with a Garmin Z. Uh, it's my first year shooting the Garmin Zero. Um, to be honest, uh, I'm super stoked to be doing it. I'm really happy to finally have it on my bow. It's really helped me uh, get to be a better bow shot, I think, through the sight, if that makes sense, just in, in learning what it'll tell me about my shot and what I need to do to improve my shots, just in target practicing, just in preparing for getting out in season. Um, so hopefully, you know, I haven't had a, a chance to throw an arrow through the bow with this thing actually pointed at an animal, but just practicing with it all summer, um, I've really grown to love it, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's elevated my game, I hope, and uh, if it hasn't, it's not because of, of, the, of the piece of equipment, it's because of me. It's, it's been fun to learn how to use, and I look forward to using it. Really, I can't imagine even going backwards now. We get a cool velvet buck that's actually in the stages of shedding its uh, shedding its velvet like in real time, right there, right in front of us. Um, probably as we get to be about six, seven o'clock that night, and he walks straight out of our lives to the left. And I knew that something was going to have to happen sooner, otherwise we we're going to get down and go talk about a game plan for the next day. Moving off to my left, and it's not an it's not a, a velvet deer, but it's a big hard horn hard horn buck, and uh, I'm just. If he's coming from my left, I just hope he comes in, turns right, and gives me an opportunity. And it's right on the edge, and I can't see it very well. And Jeff's looking at it, and he's got it. He's got good footage of that deer. It's down off, just right on the tree line, right on the edge, and it's feeding, and he's on it. And then here comes the deer I saw. Looks like we gotta pass through. Um, <laughs> I feel am, better now, don't you? I feel better. I feel a lot better. Yeah, we're still gonna do exactly what I just said, though. We're gonna walk straight out of here. I think it still felt low. I'm just hoping we did enough damage. The rage is deployed, and yeah, I feel better. So, sticking to the plan. If he's bad and he's not done, we're not going to push him, so I do feel a lot better. Oh, jeez.
Jeez. Up high, he jumped right here. Oh, wow. Here. 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 Oh! <laughs> I <tried. laughs> Get in hey, there, dude. buddy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Making a great shot and knowing you made a great shot, I don't, I don't care what you're hunting with, is one of the most euphoric feelings as a hunter because you know you've done right by the deer and, and not every time is that going to happen. I don't care how many years you hunt, you know, things are going to go wrong, mishaps are going to happen. You know, for me personally, I can tell you, even after all the practice, sitting in actually the exact same stand, I, I shot too soon, I shot too fast, I didn't settle in. This beautiful 10 point came out, I shot him low didn't it was not a mortal hit and this deer ran off and that shows you controlling your emotions is, is still the key and as much time as i practiced with the garmin zero had my shot right there but i rushed the shot so you still have to be prepared that's a key thing to always keep in mind on that garmin zero well congratulate steve my hunt will continue on next year in kentucky and when we come back we'll pick up the action with clark winlet as he hunts a new piece of property in texas